So you want to get good at Rocket League. Well, in this video today, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to help you up your game and get you cruising on your way to Grand Champ. Now, this is going to be a series of in-depth tips and strategies to help you propel your game to get you to become a better player and understand how the game works and how you as a player can develop and get better at the game and start winning more often and just becoming a stronger not only a mechanical player but a team player as well so in this episode i'm going to be going in depth in my personal rocket league settings so that you can get some ideas and strategies to improve your rocket league skills so without further ado let's just jump right into it so the first thing i want to talk about before we even get into any gameplay is your settings this is going to be how the game feels how it looks and just you getting used to the controls and how to play the game so when you go into this first tab your camera this is gonna be how you see the game how you actually view the game so your field of view this is gonna be how far I, don't, I wouldn't say how far but how much of the field that you can see at one time um, I like to play with that as high as possible just so I can see everything but again play at something that feels comfortable to you but also keep in mind you don't want to be too shallow that you can't see anything around you now your distance that's gonna be how far away you are from your car. So if you're really up close, you're just, I mean, you're not gonna be able to see anything behind you. And if you're too far away, your car might become distorted a little bit, like too small that you don't get a really good sense of the perception around. So I like to keep mine around the mid range, like 270, 280, just so I find that good middle ground. Now your height is gonna be how high the camera is from your car. Now you don't want that to be too high because you can't see things that go on underneath you because you will be in the air flying around and things like that. And you also don't want it too low because then you won't be able to see things that are going on above you. Now your angle is going to be how sharp this angle is. Really it's to see kind of like what's in front of your car. If it's really steep, it'll be you'll be able to see like the nose of your car, but I like to keep it right in the middle. And then stiffness, swivel speed, transition speed like that. Again, just find play around with these things, find what's comfortable for you. But the most important thing that I advise you to turn off in this camera settings is the camera shake. I know a lot of beginner players don't understand how much this affects your gameplay, but this is so important to have the camera shake anytime you do anything, anytime you flip or hit the ball or anything, it's just atrociously ugly and it, it's just a huge distraction. So turn that off. Nobody uses it unless you're a pleb, but if you're watching this video, you don't want to be a pleb. So turn it off and your controls. Now this varies so much in the Rocket League community. And I know a lot of people bash me for my setup but um the first thing is your bindings you can try to play on default if you play on default hoorah congrats to you i find it terrible some things i would advise about this obviously your jump is going to be on a i play with my boost on x i just find it easier but a lot of people play on default or i know a lot of people that play it on the right uh, bumper that works too now your power slide and your air roll I would highly, highly suggest changing that from the default to your left bumper because it's just going to be a lot easier for you to navigate and for you to do two things at once rather than having, you know, one thumb to do four different things at once. So just making it easier and more comfortable for you will really give you a sense of how to play the game better. So again, just play around with these. You might not change any, you might change all of them. So in this in this same part of the controls, your controller dead zone is gonna be how how much you have to push your stick for your car to actually move. The dodge dead zone is gonna be how far you have to push your stick and dodge at the same. So if you wanna like flip, it's gonna be how far you have to push your stick in order for you to flip. Pushing all the way to the left is gonna be you don't have to move it at all. Pushing all the way right means you have to slam that sucker down. And your sensitivities, again, just play around with it. Find what feels comfortable for you. And then the rest of this stuff, just it really doesn't matter. Again, go find what feels good. Video, now console players won't have this, but PC players will. This will change your video settings. Um, if you're on PC and you want to use mine, here they are. Just take a screenshot of that and you'll have it. So that was my in-depth guide to Rocket League settings. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that like button down below. 
And if you want to see more videos like this where I cover tips and strategies that you can use to improve your gameplay, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And finally, if you guys want to suggest topics for me to cover or even other games to give tips and tricks about, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video.